Hi and welcome to the Nuclear Snail channel. This time I have a quick tip for you about creating letter effects like what you see right now in soft metals. Consider this tutorial to be a direct expansion of my dystopian metal armor video, which you will find in my video list. Now some of you might be familiar with what I'm about to show you, but until my friend Eric told me about this stuff, I didn't know it, as stupid as that might sound. So if you didn't know, letter and number punches exist. Those are pieces of metal like this, hard steel, with letter negatives on the tip, and you can use them to pound those shapes into softer materials such as aluminum. There are different sizes of those sets of punches, and uh, I picked up this 8mm set of numbers and letters for about 40 euros on eBay Germany, so just take a look around. In German it's called Punzia Eisen, by the way. Using those punches is as straightforward as it goes, you just hammer them in, and if you maintain a 90 degree angle, then your letters are likely to turn out perfect. If not, then they will be a bit skewed, which might not be that bad for a post-apocalyptic effect. So yeah, just go ahead and experiment with it. And what you're about to see here is me making a mistake. I forgot the H. So, I cannot run around the wastelands with other people thinking that I can't spell, so I have to correct that mistake ASAP. For that I'm using my hammers. This one didn't work out that well, but the rounded tipped ball pin hammer, that worked out really well. I've pounded that letter just back into oblivion and now I'm applying the H on top of that. I really like this effect because it's three-dimensional and unless you want to remove it, it is there to stay. Now I'm spraying it and then I'm gonna wipe that spray paint off. And what that creates is uh, an effect where those letters are really dark, because the paint is inside of them now. I think it's really cool. And now I'm pouring some dust over those letters. And since the paint is not yet dry, the dust sticks to the paint and you get dusty letters like this. Not exactly what I want, so I apply just a bit more paint on top of that and wipe again. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this tutorial. I will see you folks soon in the next episode. If you like this video then like, comment, subscribe and also check out the first link in the video description which leads to my Patreon campaign and support me if you can. Also special greetings to Elliot, the inventor and advocate of anamorphic lens flares added in post-production, as well as orange and teal color grading enthusiast. See you soon.